Hi friends, we're going to go for a walk this morning and I'm going to make a video. But this may be very different than any video I've ever made. Please enjoy my stories or whatever else might be on my mind today. My walks for the last 10 days have been a little different. I have been in this concrete parking lot and I don't want to say that I don't enjoy being in this concrete parking lot because I do. Uh, it's a close proximity to um, Home Depot and things that I uh, enjoy here in Yuma, Arizona. I've done videos before about the touristy things to do here in Yuma, Arizona, the old prison, and uh, the quartermaster's place, and all of those things that you enjoy as a visitor, but uh, I'm talking about being close to Home Depot for my projects, and Panda Express for my orange chicken. My walks, as I started to say, haven't been out in the desert. They've just been along the perimeter of this parking lot. The parking lot is for a small, we call it a warehouse, and uh, it's just a property that belongs to a friend of ours here in Yuma and he graciously allows us to park in the parking lot here while we're in town. And my walks are just around the perimeter. Nineteen seventy eight. Ford 250. I used to have a 150. It was blue and I pulled my boat with it. Had the same engine, a 450. This is our friend's camper trailer. And uh, Well, let me tell you what I decided I was going to tell you today. I have lost some interest in doing my YouTube channel. And I'm going to back up a year and tell you why that is and what I'm going to do about it. About a year ago, I was approached to participate in a business idea that I got very, very excited about. And uh, along about the time that we were totally isolating and staying home in Ajijic, Mexico, uh, because of the COVID virus, um, I got totally involved in working on that business. And one of the things that I did, because um, I enjoyed doing what I was doing, working on that business, um, I started to slow down on my YouTube activities. Now let me back up even a little further with the simple statement that the reason I started a YouTube channel was not to entertain you or to inform you. Sorry, I started it to entertain me. <laughs> I'm always a busy guy. One of the reasons that um, I think I am as healthy and as happy 
as I am is because I am always busy. Uh, we have to start with the idea that I am probably genetically blessed and at 75 years old I feel really good. Um, last week I processed a, a cold, terrible sore throat, terrible stuffy nose, hacking, coughing, spewing, took a little contact, processed that in about three days and that's the kind of health that I have is that I can do that in about three days. Of course, everybody got concerned because if you cough it's like a gunshot these days with the COVID. But anyway, um, I was very happy doing what I was doing working on that new business and the first thing I did in curtailing my YouTube activities was I stopped answering comments. I did that about last April or May and uh, I didn't miss it at the time. Um, it was a lot of work. I was doing about uh, two days. This new camera doesn't show up in the dark at all, does it? Wow. Not very well, anyway. I was spending about two hours a day answering comments, and I thoroughly enjoyed that when I was doing it. But it was one of the things that I said, hey, if I'm going to spend uh, all this time working on a new business, uh, that's there isn't going to be time for that, so I gave it up. And then along about uh, August, I stopped making two videos a week. I was posting on Tuesdays and Fridays, every Tuesday and Friday, for almost three years. And uh, again, I did it because I enjoyed it. But that new business was taking up my time, and not just my time, my mental processes, and my uh, creativity, and um, well, it was just consuming me, as some projects do. <laughs> A lot of projects. All of my projects always consume me. Speaking of projects, you know, I told you that uh, I got um, a bike for Lynn, a tricycle actually, and we've been carrying it on the back of the Jeep, but this was too narrow, so I spent two days redoing that. I beat the edges down so that it was uh, wide enough for the back tires, and anyway, point is that I... I'm always doing something, I stay busy, and that's what keeps me happy. So along about August, I curtailed my YouTube activities and started doing only Fridays instead of two days a week. Of course, uh, every time that I transcend from making videos in Mexico at our wonderful home in Ajijic on the north shore of Lake Chapala. All of those people who subscribed and are active on my channel because they're interested in retiring and living in Mexico uh, stop watching because they don't care about my RV life. You know, I had a long conversation with a friend who's a fairly successful YouTuber and uh, she told me that you now we were talking about hey when I come to the States I, I lose all of my Mexican uh, retiree interest enthusiasts and who don't give a rip about RVing and the RV lifestyle in the Arizona desert and then when I go back to Mexico, I lose those who are following me because they are interested in the RVing. She said, oh, I should start two channels. Well, actually, I said I should start two channels. And she said, no, it's not about where you are. 
it's about your lifestyle. And my lifestyle isn't dependent upon where I am. Well, it kind of is because different things go on in my life. But basically, my lifestyle is A, genetically blessed, B, always doing something, never sitting around being bored. And what she told me was that, hey, you need to document just doing what you do. And there will be enough people out there that um, enjoy that, that you can have a successful YouTube channel. And then we get back to, well, why do I have a YouTube channel? And again, sorry, it's not about you. It's about me. It's something that I enjoy doing. And uh, I've been a terrible YouTuber lately. I haven't set up a camera. I've had done all these projects. We had a hummingbird inside of the motorhome the other day, and I didn't grab a camera. What kind of YouTuber am I? <laughs> well, the fact is, back to the story, I've been the kind of YouTuber that lost interest in being a YouTuber. Here's the next chapter. That business that I've been working on uh, is not going to fly. Do I regret that? No. Do I have excuses for that? Well, the COVID, of course. That's an easy, it's an easy uh, scapegoat. Our business is not going to fly because of the COVID and changes in the world and so on and so forth. Never mind, I'm not going to tell you what the business is. I just uh, want to tell you that I'm about to be bored again and needing something to do. And what I need to do is get back to making my YouTube videos because it's something that I thoroughly enjoy. I need to get back to answering comments and having an interaction with my subscribers. Some of you I've gotten to know well. <laughs> some, some of you <laughs> I've <laughs> gotten to know so well that I deleted you and your access. But that's another story. That negativity never did bother me much. Anyway. That's my walk and my talk for today. I'm going to put some effort back into my YouTube channel. And uh, I hope you'll come along, whether I'm at my retirement home in Mexico, whether I'm fooling around in the Arizona desert with all of my toys. Uh, you know, I've had, I've had two uh, kinds of videos that have been more successful than others. One of them is when I just talk to you. And the other one is when we get Lynn in a video. And whether she's just singing some silly song or just being Lynn, um, <laughs> people seem to like it. This is uh, making some great oatmeal cookies, huh? You like my oatmeal cookies? Love them. Yeah? Love them. Best cookies ever, huh? Yes. Well, not counting those ones that Kathy... That... The uh, almonds... Yes. Uh, all, almonds and uh, cherries. Dried cherries. Yeah, those are really good. Yeah, why don't you make some of them? Uh, maybe I will. I'd like that. Anyway, welcome me back. I'm going to make some YouTube videos. Come on. Let's have some fun hanging out together. Hey, if you like me, give me one of those thumbs up, and please subscribe and hit that little bell so you know when I post next. Please share me with your friends on social media. Thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed what was on my mind today.